Hello, Commander. Spicy matches. Yeah, what we're saying. All right, so we have Dymatic, Kuro, Gallows, Coconut, and V versus Explicit, Rad Sun God, Digi Digitalor, Digitalor, Tanak, and it's Kamina. It's Kamina. Kisama. Anyways, Team One got a bunch of adorable hippos. It's almost like Snarm's level, like drawing. It's kind of cute. I don't know if I want to watch this one. I wanted to check the other one with the the, the Pisces. Anyways, uh, we've got Operation Giant Fist. <laughs> what kind of fist was he making? A giant one. Very aggressive. Nice little box that they can utilize. Oh, kind of cool. All right, so. 3-2 split is looking like what we're going to be seeing from our attacking team as they're going to try and pincer in base and then utilize that to try and gain uh, security over the rest of the map. Makes sense as they could then use observation to gain kind of line of sight and control over jungle and jungle gym. Or, you know, the bits over here called ruins. And then, of course, we have uh, the guys pushing from base to try and utilize line of sight and maybe get some pincers and guarantee and kill off people in uh, pit. Now... Nothing too... Ooh, okay. One man taking the auto shot already. I'm kind of curious to see... Me, you'll probably be seeing an observation in this little observation cube would be my guess. It would be my guess, but we'll kind of have to see it here in about two seconds as to where he wants to land. It would be very, a very powerful kind of positioning. And yeah, that's exactly where he's going to be landing. Uh, ooh, okay. So we've got at least one defender with the mop. And my guess is he's going to be... So he's going to be watching uh, Pit door but then he's gonna need to eventually rotate to keep line of sight over base because you have um rad is gonna be keeping tabs on the base door so we'll kind of keep uh six is this our boy no seven starts blasting but he doesn't catch anybody reload noises are clean and that should kind of trigger the defender with the mop to try and start to rotate Explicit's going to be holding this door here as the attackers are still kind of working their way here. He's got no idea about this, and this is going to be quite the quite the surprise. Now, of course, he does, he does still have the cover. It's going to get planted, and we'll kind of pop into Coconut here. Molotov is good, but the, the auto shotty does... Oh, no, he does actually capture the auto shotty guy. Okay, man's on a double, and our attacking team is in. Only one player on the attacker side has fallen. Defenders immediately back off into a defensive stance here in jungle. Nobody is going to be able to rotate. Rad on extremely low health. Our defending team has health advantage, or attacking team has health advantage. Any utility? We do have two flashbangs left, so they can try and utilize, maybe try and flash out some of this. Coconut jumps in, gets one. And we've got our defending team trying to hold the ruins as we have Kuko with the defuse. Great Molotov to try them a buy a, try to buy them a little more time, but we are it is an absolute Texas gunfight here. Ooh, gets him though. One man left and no defenders left here as the attackers finally push in and gain gain purchase over that high ground in the connections between jungle and pit. Good stuff. Really good stuff. That uh, auto shoddy, again, I, I swear, you take the auto shoddy, you're cursed to either get one in trade or be absolutely useless, get flashed, and then die. And yeah, they're, they're talking about it. They're talking about it. Okay, I was about to say, someone's going to get that bomb, right? Who's opening stuff? Oh, Coconut is. So, <laughs> attackers are going to have the auto shotty for potentially the this coming round or the following round afterwards. We'll have to see. I didn't really get a good chance to take a look at the net, the other two um, locations. So, we'll have to see where the attackers might try and utilize that. If we have a, uh, a sea store, 
we might see them try to utilize that or a kill house that would definitely kind of warrant it so we're gonna have a factory so they're most likely going to be saving for that c store um in round three i don't think that they would want to use it in round two but we'll have to see we will have to see final jackal oh my god i don't know if you guys ever remember playing in halo 3 um lasso with oh god legendary jackals man monsters absolute monsters that mission one where they, they're all like hiding in these like stupid tree locations and you're just trying to mind your own business and just get just destruction absolute destruction anyways uh factory so very large open area uh we have these very neato dorito kind of pipe works here on around the edges of or actually yeah pipe works that's what it's called of the factory so obviously defenders will be able to utilize that to try and rotate or basically just avoid being on the ground because the high ground advantage that the defenders can utilize and again be also able to rotate into these different areas can be quite literally game changing in terms of damage that they can put out on the attacking team storage does have power which would storage would actually be quite i wouldn't say it'd be easy because you know one one false slip and you could have two of your attacking buddies dead but uh i would definitely say that it's not it's not the most difficult you know power to try and play for where's our attackers okay so they are going to spawn here and it would make sense for them to just try and go for something like this. We do have at least one defender going to be dropping to barbed wire. It makes sense that they would place that down. And we do not have a grenade just yet on our attacking team. We do have a saber getting picked up. So definitely going to be seeing them use that. No auto shoddy, which is not too surprising just because of the, you know, the size that is factory. Rad is going to be trying to hold offices for his team. And then if need be, he can obviously again rotate as uh, need be towards it but we have three defenders actually gonna be sitting up here in uh server farm so ooh, gallows is gonna try and go for some p sneaky peaky stuff maybe what is this <laughs> what what are these he's gonna start looking oh he sees one they both kind of back off and no trades happen yeah Defender is going to back all the way off as our attacking team is setting up. Oh, we're going to have ourselves a breach. So Rad's going to be the one to hear this one. Breach is going to go out here momentarily. There it is. He doesn't react. Okay, there he goes. Oh, he tries to throw it. He does get the fire down, but Kuko's already in. That was incredibly delayed. Attackers are in. Line of sights are open. Dynamatic falls to explicit. Office versus pipe works. Kuko actually decides to back off here as the defenders try and figure out what they're going to do. There's only two of them left. And we still have our Saber holding line of sight on server, but there's no one here. Oh, hang on. As I say that, as I say that, no way he catches them on the rotate. One left. One man left. Bomb getting defused. He finds Vi, or V. But the defuse is going to come out. Oh, the fire! He finds Coconut! Okay! Oh, don't tell me he just got the Saber. That was the Saber drop, by the way. That is a triple kill. It's a one-on-one! -on -one. Oh, no! Heartbreaking! Absolutely heartbreaking! Okay, so he would have gotten the win. But... Digilinder... He found the Saber! What? What was this? Did they just not know that... He was down here just kind of playing through the rotate. It's almost like the, the Saber player didn't realize that there was still at least one player left. And he was just like, all right, I guess I'm going to just push in and get some positioning. I mean, it, ah, that was that was, that was was shoddy. That was very weak play from uh, the attackers. That breach was clean. I mean, they got in. They were able to push all the way into office, which I think if Rad had been just a little bit quicker with that Molotov or that, yeah, yeah, well, I don't know, because then we had the the situation of the flashbang. Maybe he just needed to throw it at his feet. <laughs> throw it at his feet and then just pray he doesn't burn himself alive. Orion's Neptune. Or Neptune Orion? Yeah, Neptune Orion sounds sounds grammatically right. Going to be the last uh, map here, or the last round for this uh, first of four sets for Team 1 versus Team 2. 
I would assume this is where we're going to be seeing the auto shoddy coming out for the attackers as they could play close and they could play aggressive if they choose to. They do have the auto shoddy in their hands. The mop, I believe, it has already been utilized, so our defensive team will not be able to have any sort of power weapons to stop the defenders from coming in. They could just flash, 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 flash into bathroom, and then there you go. Or even better, breach, come in. Uh, actually, yeah, they could breach, and then they would have a split push opportunity. But it is in bathrooms, and bathrooms is notorious for having one guy sitting in the stall and then just, you know, burst fire, go burr. Let's see what we get. No, they actually choose to not use the auto shoddy. So, interesting, interesting, interesting. They are going to just kind of... Oh, hang on, I heard it. I thought I heard it. All right, well, we do know that there's going to be potential power push, so they're definitely going to be trying to push for this arcade into office, gain power control, and then get their party started. There is a storefront drop, so we could have... Oh, hang on. So it might be a three-drop storefront, begin to push in, door gets breached, and then they'll have line of sight to try and gain you know, their player's access or purchase into this room. However... There's also the rotate opportunities. We'll have to, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. There's a, this this room, I mean, obviously you can see how the defenders are playing up. Basically, this this northern section of the map is defender favored. Everything else is more or less open to the attackers to figure out how they want to come in. And it's going to be a five-man drop here into storefront. So Explicit is going to be seeing this as they all fall in. And he actually backs off respectfully. Oh, that flash. Oh, it was a grenade. Oh, he, he, that was a bit of a waste. That grenade did absolutely nothing besides force him off the teller's door, but that didn't really gain them any, you know, benefits. It didn't clear out the barbed wire at the front door. Didn't clear this barbed wire, so huge waste. They still have a second grenade and the clacker, which I don't know what they plan to do with this at this point. Obviously, I mean, maybe they just wanted to use it for the meme, or maybe they're going to try and breach something. I don't know, but here we go. I mean, Shotgun Man's going to be able to easily hold this. Yeah, they, they can't. Oh, oh. Big damage from that uh, little window opening. There's the door breach. Attackers are going to make their way in here. Switch it over to satellites. So you guys got a better view. Molotovs everywhere. Holy cow. This room is just... The floor is lava. One man left again. Oh. Doesn't get it. And that is a three sweep for our team one. That Molotov... These Molotovs were great. If they had gotten back here, the... The attackers would have been completely toasted. And we might have seen a different uh, situation. But it's a 3-0. I'm, I'm still very surprised by that grenade. That that grenade through the uh, teller window it didn't do anything. I mean, the barbed wire is still here. And explicit until he was basically down to 10 HP. He was fighting. I mean, they didn't kill the guy. He was more or less dead, yes. But again... In some of these cases, it doesn't matter whether it's 100 HP or 1 HP. As long as you're alive and as long as you can still click heads, you are you can fight, you know? Kill Dome, as our teams are going to be switching. Team 1 now on defense and Team 2 on attack. Kill Dome. Giant Fist is going to be our operation. Again, we're going to have that really cool little, like, cubby door. And it looks like our defenders are already kind of talking about the op the possibility of an observation push. I want to see a conga line. I want to see one one where they just conga. You don't stop. You just keep the party going. You know, towards bomb, bomb or bust, you know what I mean? That'd be cool to watch. All right. 3-0, our defensive team needs to get on the board here. Or, excuse me, our attacking team needs to get on the board. It could just be the case of these maps are pretty heavy, heavily favored on the uh, attacker side. So if we can see a 3-0 repeat from them, then we'll definitely know that these maps are clearly heavily favored. But we'll see. We will see. I wonder if... Oh, no, you would not be able to arc that grenade, right? Because here's here's me in, in the, the cast. Do you think a... A, a, a perfectly thrown grenade could connect there? I, oh, I didn't want to do that. I wonder if you could, like, chuck the perfect grenade. You know what I mean? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Would you look at that? It's a pit bush. So they're going to be going for power again. 
as I don't believe we saw them. Well, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. They must have decided to not go after the power in the uh, the C the CT store because obviously we've got no. Uh, they must have NVGs or something. Yeah, they've got NVG, so it is going to be a power push for our attacking team. And here they come. Saber going to be our power weapon. We do have Coconut with the auto shoddy, so very key. These guys are going to be waiting for this uh, pit push, just based off of the fact that we're not seeing anything just yet. And there we go. Jesus, it is the Wild West over here at the beachfront. Finally, power does get hit with absolutely no resistance from our attacking team, or defensive team. Coconut, though, in a great position. Oh my, oh my. This man is ready to murder some people. Defenders continue to push their way through the beach here as Rad finds a pick. And we've got two defenders falling over. Coconut, I think they know he's there. They've got to know he's there just based off of these breaches. And he doesn't get him, but Coconut's going to have to back off one HP. Holy cow. Oh, this is... Oh, that's spicy. Oh, that is so spicy. I don't think they're ready for that one. Defenders falling over here. Our attackers, excuse me, falling over here. Oh, Kuka waited too long, and suddenly the Saber is able to find purchase on at least one man. Rad here up in the big top lights. They're just, they're essentially, the, the pincer play is in motion here as the defenders, or actually I should just say Coconut, is now stuck in the corner of this map trying to work his way in. <laughs> he does get one for his trouble. But uh, Coconut does eventually fall over with only one HP left. Ooh, finds a Molotov on uh, one of the defenders here. Looks like they're not going to be taking the auto shoddy, which is quite fascinating. No desire, I guess, from our attacking team for it. All right, very cool. So, attackers finally are... Our team 2 finally gets on the board with that first push. Um, I really... I really liked what Kuko was doing there by trying to kind of hide in the water face down, submerged, and just holding his breath. I think if he would have waited a little bit longer, he maybe could have gotten it. But just because of that si that Saber's line of sight, there was no way that he was going to be able to get any anything aggressive. Maybe if one of the defenders had actually, or the attackers had actually tried to push towards him, he could have gotten the trade. Because then, you know, he kills the first guy who wasn't expecting him, and then the Saber kills him afterwards. But at the end of the day, that isn't exactly effective for the defenders. It's not a very worthwhile trade. But, final jackal. Again, we've already talked about all the pipe works and stuff like that. Oh, that's right, there's pinging. Hmm. That's not going to go away, is it? Hmm. I didn't know that the casters could ping, actually. There we go. Get that out of the way. All right, so. Pretty solid push. Uh, they were able to utilize the attackers, that is. We were able to utilize their NVGs and just kind of work down the defensive team. That was a very... I wouldn't say it was it was slow, but it was efficient. They they took their time, they got into a position, they communicated to the team, and then they kept going. And then they would wait, and then they would go. It was almost like in a three-part dance. You had the two guys on beach wait until the pit was opened and pushed through. Pit was opened and pushed through. Beaches then pushed in. Bit of a gun play. I mean, there's a bit of gun trading in, in beaches, but it wasn't the end of the world. And then by the time beaches had forced those guys um, in, in base to rotate because they would have been out of position as the guys in pit would start to rotate on them, then the beaches guys got into position. At that point, we then had all of pit ready to go ahead and push into jungle. And, and then, you know, we saw um, red started to be started to rotate. There we go. So, all right, looks like we're going to be having uh, Eastern side push here from our attacking team. I think this is pretty much what we saw from uh, Team 1 when they were actually on the on the assault. We'll have to see, though. I like the idea of maybe using the docks, though. Maybe using it on dock, too, because as you can see, our defensive team is more or less stacked up almost identically, except there's no barbed wire whatsoever. This is a very naked... Okay, no, there is... 
two barbed wire, excuse me, three barbed wire, four barbed wire. I am literally just blind, actually. They, they, there is barbed wire on the map. I just, we can't see it because it's so hidden. Attacking team gets in. Ooh, huge damage. I think it's a mop, a mop fight against Gallows, who's, no, it's just good old damage trading. Coconut gets found and completely annihilated. Kuko is going to check and gets it destroyed by the saber. Where is our mop? Our man Gallows has the mop and he's going to back all the way into docks. The entire eastern side of the map has been completely given up by the uh, defensive team. And this could be huge. Attackers getting onto the... Getting, you know, taking a very commanding lead here. That Molotov didn't do a whole lot. Grenade did nothing. And Explicit... Going to be finding the, the mop. All that's left is dynamic. And he's in such a terrible position. He's going to get found. Oh, hang on. Hang on. He's not done yet. Okay, he is done. <laughs> I was going to say, he finds he finds one man just kind of by accident. And they should be able to find the mop here. Yeah, we're going to have one guy finding the mop. So they're going to have two power weapons here moving into this next round. Very big deal. Very big deal. I'm very confused. Coconut died. I don't know if they knew that the saber was out. No, they had... No. Kuko had to have known that the saber was out because he started shooting at the guy that was here. That was, um... Yeah. It's... It's... Kisama! So, there's no way he wouldn't have known that the mop was here. So, that was just... A situationally daft movement by our defensive team. Not very, not nearly as coordinated as we saw them on their uh, on their rounds. Three two, as we move into the last um, round for this this half of the series. C store is going to be our deciding round. Either team two will tie it up and we will have a back-to-back -back double 3-0 from each team. Or team one could go big, which would actually give them a huge momentum boost um, going into the second half of this series as they would be up an extra round on uh, team two. Which would give them, I mean, it allows you to be a little bit more kind of loose and a bit meme -y with your with your play because at, at that point then you don't actually run the risk of like okay you know when it comes down to like a like it, it, it cannot be a six six it'll either be a seven five at this point uh well it could be well it could be but again it allows it allows team one to be more dynamic it allows them to be a bit more kind of free with what they want to do and how they want to play so there's there's not nearly as much risk We don't see the mop. Interesting. We do not see the mop. On the um, attacker side. Combat shotguns. So they're going to be saving their power weapons, it looks like, for the last round. Just based off of the fact that um, our saber has been swapped out for a combat shotgun. And then Tenak still hasn't chosen a weapon here, which is fascinating. Okay, this is going to be an AP-25. So yeah, it is going to be your standard uh, C-Store kind of loadout. Bunch of AP-25s and maybe a shotgun or, you know, in some cases, just whatever gun you happen to uh, body loot uh, from the previous rounds. Anything unique and powerful? Not really. Nothing left here on the defensive team. Bunch of shotguns and some just kind of close-range aggressive weapons. Not too surprising. But it looks like, based off of our push here, we're going to have a storefront drop into Teller's security. And then through the... Uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, then a wall breach into bathroom. Which would be quite interesting. Looks like our other round, the uh, other match is already finished. As I just saw a bunch of people change out. Coconuts could go big here. Shotgun. He gets one. He's going for two. Come on, Coconut. Oh, he dies though. That would have been so huge. That was such a great initial start there from Coconut. And we blinked and it's over. Hippo was there. We had two people. What was... Defenders just got aggressive. Like, un unnecessarily. I mean, Coconut, yes, it makes sense. He was he was in a already doomed position. But then, Vi kind of just died. 
Coconut and Dynamic, the only two people on the defensive team to actually take a round or take a take a life here for the defensive team, and that's about it. There you go. It was we had a three three peat, two three peats uh, from each team. So well done. I mean they they went in and traded. I'm a bit um, perplexed as to what the defensive team was thinking there. As I mean, you can see where the bodies fell. They fell. Two people fell right next to each other. Very surprised by that. Very, very surprised by that. All right, Golden Trumpet is going to be our first uh, round here for for Team Two, who's going to be on the attacking side. Sorry, I was just watching cats, just kind of hanging out and just vibing. Cats are always kind of interesting to me. I my family has always been a dog family, so like the idea of having a cat has always been kind of interesting to me. But then, like, it's it always kind of sucks because, like, I would I wouldn't I'd be willing to try and have a cat, but then, you know, it's a double-edged sword because then you're trying to have a cat and cats don't love you like dogs do. Dogs just love you unconditionally. I mean, good day, bad day, there's a dog. Cats, you have to earn their love, and even then, if they're having a bad day, they're gonna make sure that you don't go near them. You know what I mean? Like, it's you're with a cat, you're you have a human, a, a very small and like needy human. Where with dogs, you got you got a dog, you know that thing. That's your dog, dog. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, by the way, we switched sides, so the attackers actually. I mean, it, it made in this case it was better for the attackers because they they removed all the power weapons from uh, team one, but team two didn't utilize any of them and still won, which is I I, I don't know how much more of a flex that you can have as uh, as the attackers. Real quick, uh, Gallows is going to be holding our power weapon and it's Kamiya. It's Kamina, Kamiya, Kisama is going to be holding the uh, saber for the attacking team. Looks like we're going to have some pretty crazy... Oh, is that a garage door? Ooh, Golden Trumpet, our new map here. There's cars and stuff. Huge open area. Huge open area. I'm very curious as to what this is supposed to represent. Almost looks like a car park or something. You know what I mean? Gallows whiffs for his first shot of the round as he was trying to catch one of the attackers as they peeked in. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That was, that was, that was a nutty angle. That was an absolutely nutty angle. Anyways, Coconut was trying to go for a crazy rotate but ends up getting uh, murdered by our uh, three gentlemen here in the reception side. And all that's left is our two, three defenders here um, in the corners of this bomb huge wide open area it's almost like we're playing on like this this like amalgamation of factory and kill house obviously i mean you can see all the the tight angles that you have in kill house but then you peek in and oh look at that oh look at that he's trying to figure out if that's a person a person or not it's not it's just part of the walling he hears them but he's not oh he's on top of the car smoke goes out there's the door opening. And our attacking team is just coming in and making short work of these attack these defenders. Oh, here's the flash. Here comes the push. Destruction. That was very methodical. That was great play from our attacking team. They just came in. I mean, this... Poor Coconut just caught out, was just completely caught out here on the rotate, but. Oh, okay, they are going to go shopping. They should find, they should find the, uh, the mop on. Did they find the mop? No, they didn't. Okay, Explicit's going to get the mop. All right. Oh, and they get a lot of ammo, too. A lot of ammo. So, Attacker's going to have some sweet power weapons here as they go up. This is now a 4-3 Attacker, or Team 2 favored series. I'm very interested by the car park. That uh, that wide open area. I mean, obviously that favors gun, you know, long range gunplay. But 
you know, having them drop that mop immediately, I feel like one of the defenders could have almost tried to run and grab it and then, you know, man the post, if you will, to try and prevent the attackers from getting in. Because as soon as the attackers were in, they were just, they were looking for the peaks. I mean, you could see it. You could see how they were just kind of like moving around and not directly trying to engage the, the attackers. Oh my god, this is so small. It's so much smaller than... When, when she takes off the pants and sees the PP and she goes, Oh, he's so small. <laughs> Ancient Helios. It's going to be our, uh, our uh, eighth round here for Team 1 and Team 2. Team 1 has not won a single round here since uh, switching to the half. Team 2 just going big so far. Castle is going to be pretty important here. Obviously, with the line of sight that they'll have over Beach, I don't think that it's worth the attacker's time to try and go after this. However, the drawbridge door here, the button, is here on Beach. So it kind of comes into this weird angle of if they want to push and secure Castle, they can, and it's it's doable, but then they won't be able to push into base because you'll need someone to hit the button in Beach. Unless you can maybe just kick the door down, then you're good to go. Well, you know, that's just a whole other problem. But, oh. Oh, my. Oh my. Okay. So we're going to have a full send from jungle into ruins or jungle gym. And oh my, they're going to, okay. So they're going to flash here, secure this. Then it's going to come down to making sure that they can stop whoever's up here. And the idea is they're going to use the grenade to destroy whoever's hiding in here. Now the mop is dead. There is no one sitting with the mop on the defensive team. They know that because they own it. They own both power weapons right now. Let's take a look and see who is going to be holding these positions as the observation post is actually pretty well defended. They'll be able to utilize the castle. Oh, it's like a little crosswalk. That's kind of cool. There's like they got all this extra space up here in castles. That's kind of cool. It's almost like a second base, really. Hmm. Neat. All right. Oh no. They're all stacked up thinking it's a beach push, but it's not a beach push. Uh-oh. Coconut hears them. He's got to be calling it to them. He there it is. There's a Molotov. Buys him time. Ugh, gets away. But they're chasing him. Do they just run through the fire and flames and just say, forget the damage? Gallows is going to be the next man, but that grenade destroyed Hippo. Or uh, Vi, excuse me. These attackers are just making short work of this. That's it. They're dead already. I didn't even get two sentences in. They're all dead. These attackers are just coming in and slaughtering the defending team. Holy, oh my, oh my. I mean, great play. This was, this was pivotal. The fact that two people rushed Coconut to ensure that he was not going to be able to stall to allow his defensive team to support him. Literally, by Coconut dying, the entire defending team was just lost. Coconut was the, the keystone here for the defensive rally. And because the attackers just rushed him, literally just came in and annihilated him. There was no way that they could set up. And then, of course, the uh, the two guys up here had line of sight on the base. And that was that. Whew! That was clean. Are we going to see 3-3-3? Three, three, three? Is it possible? I mean, if it's Popsicle, it's possible. I'm just saying. Here we go. Factory is going to be the last, the last point. And I tell you what, man. I tell you what, they're going to have a saber, and they're going to have a mop. Like, that's that's pretty sweet, honestly. That's pretty sweet. Are they actually just going to be using... No, okay, I was about to say, are they actually just going to be using all of these guns here from, from the uh, previous round? I hope that they don't, because they've got all of these ranged weapons... Obviously, oh, look at that. So it looks like the attackers are already kind of planning to just use the southern side of the map. I can't tab out because uh, I can't move because I, I tried to, like, look at their, their information. So until the planning phase is done and the characters actually spawn in, we're kind of just stun locked here. But it looks like it's going to be a potential docks push just based off of what we're seeing here from the uh, attacking team. There we go. All right. So they're, are they, st they're committing to it, aren't they? 
Okay, there's this there's the moth. No one's touched the saber. No one's touched the saber just yet, but yeah, it's gonna be a door breach. Number one, ironically enough. So where are the other two? The other two are gonna be coming through this window. I'm a bit perplexed by that. Where are the other two gonna be coming in? Could see an office breach. Okay. Clacker, grenade, and some other flashes and stuff. So it looks like our attacking team is just going to be using the mop for this round. Um, and then, of course, the defenders just, they've got, I don't want to say they have trash weapons. They've got weapons, but not exactly the type of weapons you want to be using for long-range engagements. Ah, there is a door here on servers. So it is going to be a 3-2, two, two servers, three pushing from docks. Rat is just going to sneak his way over. He does have a grenade. And Kuko could see this. Goes for it. He gets Rad. Great pick. Great pick from Kuko. He heard him stomping around. Immediately charged him. And this entire push up here is wasted. Flash goes in, but doesn't matter because Digilators... Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, don't go like that. Don't go quietly into the night like that, Kuko. Damn. I was I was curious as to what that noise was. He wow, he went so aggressive for that one. I don't think that, obviously obviously that might be that might be the throw there right there. Flash goes out. Kisama is gonna try and find Gallows. Gallows is super close to him though. Oh he gets him! I mean the the connection was a bit rough. The mop though for the refrag, and all that's left is poor sweet coconut. Where is our boy? There he is. He's hiding in silos. One on one. Okay. They both know where each other is. The drop. You can see him. He's down there. The grenade. Oh, that was that was a grenade bait. That was that would have been clean if that had worked. Coconut's not gonna bother to reload. Using the pistols. Gonna go up. Molotov is big. That could be huge. 26 seconds left. Oh no, he tried to jump through the barbed wire. There's more than enough time now. Digilator is going to get it. Oh, great engagement from Coconut. I'm curious as to his thought process, though. Why he tried to try and jump back up onto silos. It makes sense that he would want to have better line of sight. But you can see the bomb has to be touched from this side. So he has line of sight from here. I'm very curious as to what the thought process was, was with that. Very, very curious. I mean, so much opportunity. So much opportunity from this entire area. But he tried to jump up here, and because of the barbed wire that the defensive team placed, the barbed wire cost them the round. Coconut could have just stuck it out. But that's rough. That's that's rough, buddy. So it is a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Now the uh, team one has to get three to tie it. If they lose a single one of these rounds... It is all Ogre, and Team 2 is going to take the W. Again, a uh, huge... Oh, it is called Parking Garage. Okay. Well, um, map is map is huge, man. It is absolutely huge. I'm so curious as to the thought process, because, like, think about it. You, you open... You try and open... You could wall breach garage. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Depending on where this spawns, you could absolutely open this, and then if you mop it just right, you could have line of sight over, like... Uh, quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit of stuff. Huh. Fascinating. Alrighty, so, uh, let's talk about it. Attacking team is just talking all about how they're going to... Okay, so it might be 3-2. So it's going to be a 3 push into reception. Gain purchase over reception and then get the door open and then yeah they're going to try to work their way through parking garage again just kind of trying to utilize the the numbers game and the ranged advantage that the attackers have against the defenders because obviously the defenders want to be sitting here in kitchen this this slows the attackers down huge 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 slowdown so the attackers are going to just avoid it and just kind of go you know forget it but what we could see happen would be kind of really nice is if you have 
maybe having one guy just again wall bang rotate wall bang wall bang i mean you'd have to have some incredible game sense but it would be doable i don't know if that's oh that's stone oh that's stone they wouldn't be able to wall bang it anyways okay so their only option really is just to push through parking garage because that's kind of the quote unquote safest route that you can go hmm. mob is going to be here on kisama kuko gonna have the saber for team one and here they come uh, explicit might be able to hear them stomping stomping as they come through here let's take a listen yeah you can see you, you can see the way he's he's kind of tracking them he's aware of it so club is gonna get prepped here coconut's gonna be their breaching man they are taking their time with this the defenders are probably gonna start rotating here they don't at all Coconut takes a ton of damage. Almost down to, what, 36 HP. Explicit's got the angle, so he's ready for these guys. But we do have the attackers starting to go ahead and rotate towards the southern side of the map. Reception does get opened. Who died? We saw that uh, Vi got murdered on the entrance as the mop destroyed him from over here. But now here... Wow, that is a range. That is a long-range engagement. Smoke... Allows them to enter, but doesn't really get them anything. One man on the rotate. No, he's going to wait, actually. Tenak is going to wait. Coconut doesn't realize that there are two defenders here that could get absolutely tons of damage. Coconut's stuck. The guy is stuck here, as Rad is actually going to respect and just back into the... Uh... No, he's just peeking. He's trying to support his team. They're looking for picks. You can see how the attackers are just playing so slow they're trying to see if the defenders will give them any sort of kind of opportunity and as soon as the 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 defenders call out okay oh coconut finds one does he notice that rad's on the rotate no he's just gonna push in for it 22 seconds left someone has to touch this bomb but there's only two defenders left or two attackers left digi got uh must have gone big and here we go they someone has to figure out how they're going to deal with these guys at this door. Ouch. Congratulations, Steve, too. Yeah, as soon as that, that attacker push, I mean, it made sense that they wanted to take their time, but they had to keep going. They had to keep going or else this is exactly what happened. They just ran out of time and it forced them to take engagements that they weren't prepared for. So congrats to Team 2 and uh, Team 1. Step up, I guess. I don't know. That's that was rough. That was that was literally just playing the timer. That was playing the timer for sure.